We're testing out the Ricoh Theta X 360 degree camera with a brand new plugin that just came out. The plugin is called Route Shooting Theta and it actually tracks the location of a person walking around a space using only the sensors. It appears that it's not using a GPS. This is just based on the where you start and they can tell like you're walking. I guess kind of like a Fitbit or something where the sensors in it, like a, I guess like a fitness watch, it's, it can track your location just, uh, just based on the orientation of the cameras. It's, it's incredible. Went to the plugin store and I read through it. It looks pretty straightforward and pretty easy to use. I guess you just install the plugin and you can start and stop this video either with the screen or with the shutter button. So I went back and I went through the description on the plugin store a bit more and it actually seems like it's actually getting the position maybe based on the images. Um, it might be using some form of slam or visual slam um, I'm not sure how much of the sensor it is using versus how much of the image analysis, but it looks like it's pretty cool. So I'm going to download it from the store here. I'm actually mirroring the camera screen to this video so you can see the camera. So I'm actually using my thumb on the, the, ca the screen of the camera itself. And because the camera is connected in client mode, I can connect directly to the store from the Ricoh Theta X to the store directly and just install it without any uh, third-party software. Like I don't have to use the desktop software or mobile app. The camera itself is functioning almost like a mobile phone when I install it in this case. With the plugin installed on the Ricoh Theta X, you swipe to the from the right to the left on the LCD screen to access the plugins. Then you select the plugin that you want from a list. It's scrollable. And so I selected the route shooting and I've started it up. I'm going to just test it out on my desk first to see what's going on here. So I've started it and I have the camera in my hand. You can see that although the camera is has been made invisible. You can see the small desktop tripod I have. And at the bottom of the screen, it's kind of cool that it's able to accurately check, track the position of the camera, even with small mo movements like this. It's a pretty cool demo uh, that they released here. So to see it, you can either click on that thumbnail there, or if you swipe to, from the left to the right you can actually access it also from the gallery but if you click on the thumbnail you'll be able to see the app and you can do the start i think that g is probably means go so you can have it go through from different start and stop points so we recorded an, another slightly longer video outside the office to test it and my colleague jesse Kasman and he's walking backwards through it. So we're trying to simulate, oh, this might be kind of interesting to give a tour. And you also have a little map of where you are. So that was one idea. It could also be selfie style where uh, it's the same video. It's just, you know, the, the camera has two different lenses, right? So you can also do selfie style and you could narrate it yourself. It's really quite cool with that auto-generated map. I'd love to see it overlaid onto a floor plan or other types of physical maps so your viewers can get a better sense of where they are. The, I transferred the file from the Rico Theta X, it was in 101 route, over to my local laptop computer. I'm on a Windows computer here and I played it in the official Rico Theta desktop app. It looks fine, so they must be using some form of metadata to store the position. Check it out.